I have this, um, it's a front axle off a mowing machine, um, an industrial mowing machine, um, four wheel drive unit, and we've got some um, broken bolts here, here, here and here, sorry. One, two, three, uh, four, five broken bolts. I understand this is uh, something to do with the braking unit on this machine. So they've snapped off um, so we're going to try to get them out. Anyway, back in a bit. So I've got it in a better position to have a look at it. And I can see one there. That apparently is a stud extractor, so that's going to be fun. And there's a bolt here. I have no idea what's going on there. We'll have a look at it when it's on the bench. But this bolt here presents a problem because it's behind this um, drive flange. Um, so I can't get to it. Uh, so we're going to need to take the dry flange off, which means we're going to have to take this this whole cover off here. Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm thinking. Um, yeah, so it looks like we're going to have to take that cover off. So I'll come back when I've done that.
Right, we've now got the unit off. Um, but because of this broken bolt here, we need to take this off because we can't get a drill down past there. I did have a look to see if we took one of the bolts out, if we could get through the bolt hole to here, but it, it, it doesn't line up. So we're going to have to take this off. And it is held on with this nut. Let's put a bit of light on that. With this nut here. Uh, it's uh, been crimped over. Um, but hopefully we'll be able to get that off. I don't care what size it is. Forty one point two three. Yeah. So what's that? 42. One, six, two, nine. 42 millimeter socket. I'm not going to have one. Right. That ends this session until I can sort that out. The light's a bit poor in here, so. Hopefully you can see this. I've put an extra lamp on. Um, I've taken all the bolts out. And th this plate has some push threads. So basically what you've got is a hole drilled in the top plate and threaded. So you can insert a bolt. I'm using a tap. But you can insert a bolt and it will push down onto the back piece and pull the casing off. I wish a lot of other manufacturers would do this because this really does make this sort of thing easy instead of bashing and hammering and all that sort of stuff. There are four on it but it looks like two might do it. There we are, it's opened. That's now coming off without any dramas. No chisels, no prizing them open. Basically, it's its own pull-up, which on large casings can be a, make it an absolute joy. Right, I think we're nearly there. I'm just going to use a soft nail now. See if this one just there we go. That's coming off quite nicely. I think we'll just remove these taps.
There we go, okay. Let's see that. Um, So now we've taken that cover off of there and what we have, this is the drive, there's a differential in here and this, this shaft is the drive which obviously comes out here um, and then there's a, a gear wheel there and it runs down through a, a of reductions until it comes to the final reduction which is here onto the, the wheel flange now the next job we need to do is to take this nut off this nut has been crimped on um, so I'm just waiting for a, a socket to come in the post because I don't have one of that size so in case anybody wants to know it's 42 millimeters and it will want to be an impact socket to get it off. So that's it for now. And as soon as the uh, socket comes, um, we'll take it off. Try to save the gasket if we possibly can, just in case they're not available. There we go. That wasn't so bad, was it? Actually, it looks in really good condition. In there, the teeth look really good. The bearings all look nice. But then, um, not like cast iron, is it? Um, anyway, so that's that, and I shall come back when we get to the next step. Right, so we've taken the uh, the two axle. Start again, shall we? Stop recording. Stop recording. So we've taken the two end plates off off the axle. Uh, we've undone the securing nut. We've taken off the the gear then pulled the bearing which was quite tight on the shaft and then we pulled the shaft out like so so now we're left with this unit and as we said before the reason um we wanted this out of the way is because this 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 area was obscuring us for machining this broken part out here, this broken bolt. So now we've got that all apart, we're going to put it onto the milling machine and then we're going to see what we can do about extracting one, two, three, four in this case. Um, yeah, so I'll meet you over there. <laughs> 